right, so today is the day before the first ever card show in Ireland. Not sure why it took them this long. Pokemon cards gained popularity over the past few years, so I'm guessing... Well, obviously you couldn't do them <laughs> over that time. Couldn't do a bigger whole event like this, like a whole convention. So it's all the way across the country, like 150 kilometers away from me. I'll, <laughs> I'll be traveling alone, as it seems as of now. There was one friend who's also into Pokemon cards, maybe not as much as me, so that's why he wasn't as interested, maybe, I don't know. But two months ago he said he was going, but that was two months ago, so <laughs> I don't even know if he bought a ticket or not. But I got my ticket December 1st. And today's February 10th, so like two and a bit months ago. So I don't know, I don't mind going alone, but it would be ten times more fun with a friend. Like that two, three hour journey to get there and then walking around looking at the cards, the singles, the booster packs, the sealed products. And oh, what I have in, on the desk are, in my hands are stuff I'm hoping to get trade. Like the Sombrion, that's worth 33. The Eater Gold, the Nine Tails, Reshiram, Lady, Drizzile, Ice Rider, Drapion that I just pulled today, Eternatus that I pulled yesterday, then Torko, Dartrix, Naganad, Nag Naganadel, then Grimmsnarf Shinies. That stack there is like 85, 80 something. Worse in value. Then we got some stuff that I didn't think it was worth top loading. There's some Magnezone random Japanese cards. So, like 90, 90 in total there, value. And then I, I was gonna bring these as well for Rainbow Birds and then two of the Standing Glass Birds, but someone bought them just yesterday. And hoping. Well, it doesn't really matter if someone does buy any of these cards uh, in between now and <laughs> by the time I get there, uh, around about 16 hours in between. <laughs> so someone has 16 hours to buy all the, the stuff from me. Oh, another thing that would be really good for trading was the Mewtwo V Star that I bought for 60 euro. Hopefully they were out in the post today, if not, it'll only be next week. Oh, another thing they're uh, doing, uh, that's what I was gonna look up, I forgot earlier. Oh, it's like run by the grading company, standard, oh, it's 20, so they're doing like 5 euro off of like a standard uh, grading. And you get like a special uh, card show label on it. I have like 5 cards I think that I want to grade, 2 shiny Japanese Charizards, the Mewtwo V-Star, the Espeon VMAX Altard, oh the Umbreon GX that I got from the binder, so that's 5, I'm looking at if, oh the Rayquaza V, that's 6, but 6 cards would be for sure that would have won the grade, so 6 times 15, 90 euro. Um, and I, of course I don't want to bring around like a couple of hundred euros worth of cards, valuable cards in around with me. E either if you want to do that or if you want to post it and it's at the postage, the post uh, service, uh, it's in their hands. But I think the grading, either bringing that in there for 15 euro. Or what I did during Black Friday was 13 euro, I think it was. 13 or 14 per card that for grading. But it was 10 cards, you had to do the 10 cards. By November, I'd probably have 10 more cards to grade. Now I have like 6 or 7-ish. Yeah, it turns out the same if you want to post it. They grade it for you a little bit cheaper and then they post it back. Or if I bring whatever cards I want to grade there, then they post it back, it turns out to be the same. Around about the same price. I'm still waiting on a, the final binder to come in. So what I'm really hoping for, oh the binder, yeah, the binder might have available for trade. Like right now I'm selling stuff. Oh, the gold Reshiram, Reshazard, GX card, because I have that 
box anyway and the mega venus rex they're good cards to trade with how is this gonna fit in my pocket <laughs> it's getting more and more stuff Yeah, so it's been a day since I got back from the card event, card show, Ireland's first. Saw it in a little video there of me finally going through what I had to trade. Added in these, uh, I'm not sure if I did show these uh, untoploaded ones, just like full arts. Other cards that are, don't really deserve a toploader, in my opinion, King Grey EX. Just from the binder that I got, that I was uh, selling at the time and willing to trade as well. Just so the shinies that I was uh, amazing rare. Reshiram, the Gold Eater, Lady, Umbreon left, RCS V, RCS V Star, and that Reshazard Gold. <laughs> so a lot of people were looking at the Umbreon. They were interested, but nobody actually either traded or bought it. So that, that was, yeah. Oh, actually, I'll pull up what I traded for what. And then I have stuff I bought, same year, traded with or bought as well. The Venus Star EX, the Eternatus Gold. Oh, the Ninetales I just sold for 11. Oh, it's the same people who I uh, sold the Ninetales for. Two traded with the uh, Calyrex as well, the Torco. They also took the Flareon and the Vaporeon, uh, like trainer galleries. So for that, I got loads of shinies. I think that was oh, for one trade. That was one trade, and that was three trades that I did. I'll technically, uh, so for the w what ones that I mentioned, the Jolteon, or I mean the Flareon, the Vaporeon, Torkoal, and Calyrex. So in total value, that is 13, plus Vaporeon was 350, and then Flareon 280. So that's 18, 19 and a half, pretty much. And got these cards in the trade. I'm not seeing, I'm not really seeing 19 and a half worth in value, but these cards needed for my uh, crown zenith set, and then these for tr these three for hidden face shinies, and then that one for shining fates. I'll quickly look up the value just out of interest. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I got good cards for my set that I need to complete. I'm guessing they would have got given me a better deal or something, but uh, they were happy with that. I was happy with <laughs> to take those cards. My rookie is 2. I'm gonna say 240. Decent, actually, shiny Altaria might be more. Around 250 for Altaria. Zerka tree is 6. 70 and the NC is 140, so not too bad. 
it's the good uh, good start so far. Attorney V, I'm not expecting. Attorney, I don't even know how you say. Yeah, 50 cent. Uh, that's Zara Aura V Max. And then Reggie V and V Star. And then that's it. So the Zerora V Max is around 150. Reggie Gig is 60 cent as well. Any V, I think, is around that. And then Reggie Giga's V Star is 2 euro. So adding all that up, not that it really matters, but I uh, just like. <laughs> My brain likes to know these like certain weird facts, so I'm just gonna add it up really, really. 4.9 plus 6.7, so circuitry was the most value there. So 17.7, so did get a little under the value, but I did get like shinies where they got what did I get? I can't even remember. I did they get Torco and? Calyrex, which are good enough cards, and the Calyrex and the Torkoal I have been trying to sell for months and months, so I don't mind getting those off my hands. Then the Nine Tails are sold, which then I got bought with that same money again. Also, the Ball Guy, Ball Guy Full Art, I traded for this Pikachu right here. I'm not even sure. Like the ball guy is three euro apparently. I'll double check it now. And um, it's a twenty twenty ten Pikachu. Ball guy goes for uh, two fifty. Yeah, now it's not too bad. So Pikachu, I'm not even sure what that set is or how I'm gonna find it. Or I could just Google it fast and find out the set name. Probably that'd be better. Undaunted, what is that? I can't see the rest of the... Oh, it's just und Undaunted, that's the sad name. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll put that in, Undaunted. That's actually really the first time I've seen. Uh, it goes for two, the cheapest, and then the next cheapest is has got three in a bit. Like, I don't mind, it's in... I haven't actually taken that out of sleeve yet, so uh, it's in a little scratch there. Uh, I don't mind, they got a card they wanted, I got a card I wanted, so and it's a bit dirty. I mean, I don't mind, it's like getting a card off my hands, they're getting a card I, I want, yeah, so that that's the beauty of trading. So for these two full art trainers what did i was that with the kid no that was for these not these but these the well since i found the uh, yeah they took the venusar the Eternatus, and the the denny gx is that three cards oh yeah i think so the three the, the m3 so the Denny is two euro, the Eternator is five, and Venusaur, but it was really played and was like scratched up. But I, I guess like a kid like that doesn't mind. It's like a cool card I get. So fourteen was sixteen, and I traded for these insane cards: the Charizard, the, the Pikachu from the Advent Calendar, and then the Worker uh, Full Art. Swoosh, one five three. I didn't really feel bad at the time because I thought I thought these cards would be like at least played a little bit, like a little damaged. Like the hollow is a bit scratched. There is a big old swirl, swirl there as well. In my opinion, it'd be excellent to near me. Like there's a little bit of stuff on the back. The corners are a bit memed. Oh, there's a big. Not a big, but a smallish scratch. Alright, so instead of near mint, and what I would look at excellent cards. Because the near mint ones are 850. Oh, and there's no excellent ones. So I'd say 8 euro maybe for this. And then the Charizard Trainer Gallery. I haven't checked the conditions, so. 
Ah, uh, there's like scratches, there's like a dent. Wait, it's Spanish. What the hell? Why didn't I notice that before? How did I get the Spanish chat? Well, I guess they were could be could have been in holidays in Spain and then pulled it. But yeah, I didn't expect the condition to be like near mint. Yeah, there's like widening and stuff on the back. Then there's like the dent I talked about, and then like scratches on the front. So I'd say it's either good or excellent uh, Charizard trainer gallery. Spanish as well, I didn't even... I only noticed now, so Spanish... Uh, minimum connection could be good. How much is that? Still 750, I'll bring it down to 7, just because it's not a near mint. Then the worker... It's so far, <laughs> the worker was just... I got the better deal, I think. The worker full art. Is I don't want the Spanish version, I want the English. I'll check what condition it is now, and I'm assuming it's gonna be the same as the other ones. I'll be surprised if it's. Uh, there's a little dent at the top, but barely noticeable. Mm, other than that, I think it's near mint ish. Oh, it's the workers 5, so 13, 20. So four euro and the difference that I got more. I didn't know. I thought it was this was English, so I thought this was like a nine or ten euro card. The Charizard. Same with that. What the like the condition brings it down. But yet again, like I don't mind the language or the condition. That they're like cool looking cards. And this worker was just like an extra, just because I I gave three cards and I got these three cards as well. But what else did I had? They had, I think, Fear Sword Girl uh, Full Art. Yeah, that's an 11 euro card. Like, if I had picked that, like, I didn't know the value is trading, so they probably would have uh, traded. And I was taking them ages picking out, like, the third one. But these two I knew for sure I'm gonna open a take if they were fine with it. But uh, this one I took a while finding. So what did I trade? I think the Naga, Naga, the Naga Nadel GX, the full art shiny uh, hidden face. So that was four euros, and then I got the Doctor full art, which is seven or oh, rip. Yeah, depending on the condition, it was from two uh, kids. Was it all they took? Cause they did take a while. They could have literally taken any of these cards and I wouldn't have noticed because there's just so many. So the Dr. Full Art, it looks near mint, just freshly pulled out of the pack. They know how to look after cards, I guess. <laughs> and I guess these like Full Arts are easier, like you can't really see scratches or it's harder to scratch them up, I guess. Yeah, even if they're in sleeves like this. <laughs> they're, I don't know, they got a card they wanted. I got two trainers that I wanted. Surely they took one other card as well. Like, I'm gonna be memeing my mind. Was it the Negan Daniel? The only card I traded, I got these two. Insane. Raihan full art how much nine oh my god sixteen for four euro cardboard card rip at least I didn't take a gold or from them so I tripled my value with that one card uh, I don't know like, I guess the kids don't know the value they just look at the card and think oh it's a cool looking card like even either of these I would have taken it would have made it work for me but why did i take two <laughs> i don't know it's swindling kids <laughs> so i picked these out from a binder just like shinies i need for hidden fates or shining fates you can see the prices there so they're probably more than what i could have gotten them for the lapras remix for six the Froakie, the Dracloak, I got that Charmander for free. 
the Charizard V and the Charizard DX, both of which I already had. And uh, I paid 14 for that. It's like the <laughs> 61 euro for these. So I picked these out of a binder and I was saying, oh, do you want to trade it? And he's like, oh, no. I'm just looking for cash at the moment. So ended up paying for all of these. Like, oh, I didn't want to pick all of these out and then not buy them. Like, you know what I mean? I guess I could have said, oh, no, I'm not buying them. I wanted to trade. Obviously, it would have been nice to trade instead, but... So, but it'll be shiny how much that goes for one. Ah, oh, rip. Uh, grab locked. A little bit more with three. But yeah, I guess what I'm... I'm getting the cards uh, in hand straight away, rather than... Like, I'm looking off card market now. So, I don't have to... Oh, the rapid ash was is actually six, so I got got it for a good deal for more than what it's worth, or for less. I bought it for less than what it's worth. I mean, so that makes up for the bunnelby pay overpaying for the bunnelby Braco Zolt shiny as well. It goes for two fifty ish. Or fetched 120, yeah. <laughs> this Sejuai, this should be worth a little bit more. 550, yeah. So getting 150 extra, so whatever <laughs> I overpaid for the other ones, I'm getting back on those two the Rapidash and the Decidui. Gorilla Boom V 150, ah, uh, rip. And Charizard, the two Charizards were actually similar in value to what I would have they are go for on card market. Probably even better deal than like you that was not including shipping. Dracloak is four, yeah, so it's right on the money. Uh, four forty if well or more if you wanna save on shipping from other countries like the Lapras is five ish, so yeah, pretty much the same. We got the Froki from Hidden Fates, we got 130, yeah. So, in some ways, or the Charmander from Base Set. How much did that go for? Because I got that free. I guess it's in good ish condition, like it's like 20 cent. If it's excellent, then it goes for like a euro. So, I mean, I didn't get too scammed. <laughs> Like the shinies, it's decent price, and all of these I needed to complete my uh, not to complete, but to get more on the hidden shining fates. Same with these. It was weird that they had different uh, different hidden and shining fates cards. Go through these and open the two Yugo packs. So I got Absol pulled from a pack, and then these two from that was from the booster box. The Samurad V Star, I'm not actually sure how much that is worth, and then the Raikou V, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty good from the random three packs from oh, from this, yeah, the the Mew big box. I'll open that now as well. Uh, Samurad. And Japanese it's eight ish nine. Then the right cow we you know we're gonna look. Already in Charizard I sold for ten and it goes for nine <laughs> well, eight eight ish, eight fifty. Oh yeah, this Raikou is decent in, in value twenty four, twenty five so even if I don't pull it in English, same with this card, I don't have it in English. Oh, it's pretty much the same value in English as well. Same with the Radiant Charizard. So, yeah, I, was, I already had this one in Thai language. Thai or Chinese, this one. Good getting cards like that, like that I don't have. Then I won a... Well, it didn't really win, it was like a gamble. So Chinese celebrations pack 
then I bought two Paradigm Trigger packs, only got, well, two Hollows, Agron, and the Sky, or Forest Steel Zone, because it has the leaves, I think. And while we're on the team of V-Star Universe, I haven't gone through this yet. I seen the Ditto there. The <laughs> Ditto. Very nice. Got a Giratina V-Star that I didn't sleeve. Go through them in here, just since I didn't open them in front of the camera. And they V and Irida Hollow. It might be worth something, right? I'm a little tank. Cynthia, like, Cosmo thing, Mew VMAX, oh, this card. <laughs> the, so I'll have it in every single language. Did I not buy it in Japanese? Oh, I have it in Chinese, Thai, and now it'll be Japanese, and now I'll get it in English. I'll have four of them. Mole treasures. I mean, it's a... <laughs> Pulling it in every language, I mean, that's pretty good going, I don't mind. But the cosmic, uh, that lady, Moltres Hollow, we got another Mew Hollow, so I can sell one of those. And just comments on the end, we got a Gilly Suit, we got a Machamp V Max. That, I didn't have sleeves, I ran out of sleeves. Two Hollows, oh, the Bidoof, nice. I didn't have time to go through like the hollows I was only looking at some the CRV. Macario and uh, Articuno hollow. Then the magma bay or whatever. What do you call that reverse? Then this guy has a V, Professor's Research. Oh, I did get a, oh, of course you can get it in every pack the or every booster box I mean. The full art energy, Reggie Gigas V star, then that Pumpkaboo, sorta a uh, sparkle, the fire or the steel stone, Rayquaza V. Oh, I didn't get Articuno as the Articuno or Magnazone, Palkia V star. Articuno, I think, is also one of the promos in English, so it's cool to get it in uh, Japanese. Then we got more commons. We got a hollow. We got the sparkle purloin. More commons. We got Regigigas and Zeruark. Hollows. Then we got Latios. Latios, one of them. We got another Ante. We got a Giratina V. We got more commons, we got a bit barrel and the NC hollows, then we got this Regidrago, sort of sparkly. And the last of the commons, and that's that pile done. I'll sleeve through these, I'll, I'll sleeve the ones that I need to sleeve, and then I think out of the hollows, the Mew was the only one, only double. So f you get three packs with this like big oversized promo, and you get two of the oversized promos, and then you get this sort of display thing that you can use to display the the card. The two <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh packs to open. I've haven't opened any Yu-Gi-Oh packs in my life. I have literally like maybe seven Yu-Gi-Oh cards in my possession just bought off random people. Yeah, get this oversized Mew promo. And there's two of them actually. So you get Mew and Oricario and oh yeah the Ditto, where did I put the Ditto? You get the Ditto as the one with the Latios. I uh, sort of wanted to get that. I don't know why oh, yeah. Like I didn't want to buy and go over budget the the Latios one just for the Ditto promo and I did ask the guy oh do you have any spare of these and like loads of other people have asked that as well so oh and it <laughs> shows which one is for which so this one is for the Mew and because it's got the color schemes down 
promotional page just showing V-Star Universe here. If you're not a quick look at that. Or if I were to display it, I'd only display the beam. But I don't think I have any space. Oh, it's going to be an easy. So I just sort of need to carefully slide this across like that. And it makes, makes this triangle. And then you put in the two corners there. I'm not going to try and put it in just in case I... And then you stand it up like that. Yeah, it should be up up like that in there, but I'm not gonna put it in fully. These Yu Gi Oh packs, I don't even know the pack trick. I looked up the value, and I think this one is wall one euro, maybe this one is like a little bit more 250s or something. Four cards, and then nine cards in the other one. Oh, I did just rip through him. So, I don't know much about Yu Gi Oh! I only know. Oh, Clown Zombie, that's a nice one. At Speed Duel. For some reason, the cards. or the. Can't even see it on the really bad camera that the Speed Duel, like, there's like letters there. Sort of engraved. Wicked Break and Flam Burge Ba. Bow the snake here, just like a medusa there, and conscription trap card. No idea what those cards are worth. I'll look them up a little later. Only now, the like the super rare cards are actually like sort of the hollow. Chronomaly, a cam barrel figures. Yeah, just. <laughs> Just saying these cards. A dragon the lark. Pear, that's a cool looking card, is the black card. Are these oh look I know the corners are are they Yeah they're thinner than Pokemon cards. Thinner but the the length is pretty much the same, they're a bit smaller. Yeah, because I'm used to wider cards. Dispatch Arahatsi. Okay. Gunkan Sunship Ikura. Is that like uh, those uh, fish eggs? How do you call them in English? Oh, that's a sort of a hollow, isn't it? Digusto Lap Lamp. Like, oh my god, these names of cards are just horrible pronunciation. Monster Assortment, Chronomaly, Esperanza, Glyft, Spurigans, Intruder, Trap Card, and then the Spell of Margin Trading. <laughs> this is literally a Wall Street card on Yu Gi Oh! So I've no idea what any of these cards are worth or if they're any good or what. I'll look up the Digusto 2 cent. Wow. So realistic. Well, I'm adding it to my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. I love that it's too big, but it, it is what it is. I didn't even open them there because I knew I had no clue about, uh, about Yu-Gi-Oh. So I wouldn't know what even to look out for. So then I figured out there there's a better way of getting to that place by train. So it'd only take one train journey. Well, it'd be it's like go to one place, take another train, and then so probably like two one um, one sort of switch trains. That's it. Same with the journey back. So the train journey, uh, return train journey was only 23 euro, which was pretty cheap. In my opinion, going 150 kilometers. Although the, yeah, going there, it was fine. It only waited like f a few minutes. I think the train was already there, so I just could get on to the next train, and then that took me to the place. But on the way back, there is also a meme there that I'll talk about later. On the way back, I had to take a train. It was an hour and 
It was a different stop a diff at a different town, an hour and a half, I think. To that second town, the uh, town closer to where I am, or my home. So then, and then wait 40 minutes there for the train to take me home. And then that train was only like 15 minutes long, like train ride. Yeah, going back, I had a, either a choice of stopping at the first town, the tra the town that I stopped at, uh, or going there as well, or and wait an hour for the train to take me home, or go to the second uh, town and wait 40 minutes. Well, the first town would probably have been better, like it's a bigger town, but like it's still waiting. And I would have been home later if I took or stopped at the first town. Yeah, so it doesn't matter anyway, but um got home. <laughs> uh so yeah, I woke up early at six thirty I think or six or six thirty. Cause then the train was at eight AM and I wanted to get everything ready and um pack stuff up, bring a water bottle. Had a monster energy can. What else did I bring? Obviously the cards to trade. Money. That's pretty much it. Then went to the train station. Got the train there. I was still tired by at that point. So I didn't really woke it up. I didn't drink coffee. So. For some reason. Somehow the train journey there. Was shorter than the way back. Obviously, because I didn't have to wait the 40 minutes on the way back either, but even on the train, the hour to get to the first town, and then like the 40 minutes from the town to the place there, somehow went by so fast. And then I had to walk, it was only a kilometer from the train station to like the event place, the event building, the hub. I walked there, it was fine, it was like basically a straight road, couldn't get lost. Also had Google Maps, so double couldn't get lost. Then uh, I went there, I think it was a bit early, like the event only started at 10 and I was there at like 10.05. So yeah, there was only like two or three stalls ready, two or three people, so I was just walking around saying, oh, is this it? Or well, I've seen few empty stalls that would later be uh, filled up but um there's maybe four three or four pokemon guys and uh two or three match attacks then sort of one or two mixtures of Yu-Gi-Oh and pokemon but pokemon obviously dominated since uh, the grading company Mostly does Pokemon or it's well obviously Pokemon is I'd say way more popular than the other ones Second coming in Yu-Gi-Oh then match attacks match attacks and yes uh, depends on if they're into sport or anime, but like uh. I used to collect match attacks when I was in primary school. So how many years ago was that? 2007? Fifth <laughs> 13, 14 years ago, 15, I don't know. Uh, if I had known, if I had thought about it, I would have brought my, uh, like, uh, rare match attacks cards. Because <laughs> I burned, that's uh, like a bonus clips, bonus story, that I burned all of the, like, bulk. And I just kept the, like, Hunter Club, the f fan favorites, like, the, all the rarest cards, and burned all, like, the bulk. So if there's any rare bulk that I could have had, it's all burnt and I hold in a bonfire at uh, Halloween, but I'd never burn any Pokemon now because I just know the value. I could even sell bulk, like 100 cards for 5 or maybe. But anyways, that's <laughs> slightly off topic. I walked one lap, then another run at lap, I just was looking at binders, looking at cards, so... And the vendors uh, kept coming in. I can't remember which was first, uh, if I bought from the binder, like the shinies. The guy from the same county I'm from, 
Or you didn't mention it. I said I'm from there. I took a, like a train here, and it's, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't mention anything like, oh, where are you? Which town are you from? It's like nothing like that. It's just it's awkward. And that's the same guy who didn't wanna. Actually, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and they probably won't watch this far into the video they like also I forgot to um take any videos or pictures of the actual event. I might find it on their Instagram, might post something, but I don't know. I'll post other pictures that I took of what the bo what I bought, like the V Star Universe box. Uh what else did I buy? Like the stack of cards I'm trading a Darkness of Blaze booster pack, two Silver Tempest booster packs. Oh, there was like a sort of a raffle, sort of a gamble thing. So you buy one, one spot for ten euro, or one pick. It's sort of a, like a lucky dip, lucky whatever. So buy one for a tenner, and you get a chance at a graded card, get a chance at a pack, a chance at an ETB. Grading card submission. That's the first one I, that I bought because I bought one for a tenner and said I'll just chance it, see what I get. And the first one I get is like the grading graded card submission. And I, for some reason, I didn't bring like any of the Charizards that I have that I might want to grade in the future. The SP on VMAX full art that is just there off camera that I'm looking at. So that's probably the one that I want to grade. So you get one card graded s submitted for free. That's like 20 euro worth bought for 10. Obviously I'd have to pay for postage and stuff but like I don't mind about that. Then I bought six more for 50 and then only got, well six yeah booster packs. Two of the Yu-Gi-Oh ones that I opened earlier and then Two Chilling Rains, I think, or Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, wait, two, two. Oh yeah, that's, I think that works out. I might be forgetting one pack. Might have been Silver Tempest or one other random pack that I can't even remember. Might have been two, two Crown Zeniths. Just was just hoping either for a graded card or a, a DTB. And anyways, that's that. Bought from two people, then traded with some kids. It was me, bearded guy, bearded old guy. If I had shaved, I'd look way younger. But I, I don't know. It's just weird and awkward. Well, it's not as weird because the kids were going up to the vendors asking, "Oh, would you like to trade?" and like the vendors were busy with like other people selling so I was like oh here's my stack of cards that I want to trade here look at my cards that look at your cards see what I like what do you like let's let's trade let's do some business but um traded with two different kids I think I can't even remember and then traded with one vendor yeah I've seen a Charizard VMAX the shiny one from Shining Fates somewhere on some table somewhere but the second time around, like I didn't ask about it, it was out of a sleeve, it was might have been sleeved but was at, not in a top loader so I thought it was strange. And then the second time around, like I couldn't find, I didn't remember which table it was at. Then one of the guys, <laughs> I kept coming back to them with uh, the Umbreon. Like they, they already had one, but they wanted a second one for some reason. Maybe they thought I would let it go for cheaper than it's w what it's worth or something like that. I don't know, but um, <laughs> I went back to them two or three times. I think uh, I do want this Umbreon, and then those guys bought the Radiant Charizard that I pulled from V uh, V Max V Star Universe. Oh, but the uh, yeah. The V Star Universe box that I bought, there was two. I don't know if I mentioned this before in the video. If not, I'll just say it quickly again. I think the the vendors had well, I all only had Japanese steel stuff, and then like stuff in binders. So I think they had three booster boxes to start with. The first one they sold didn't have a gold. The second one, I think the middle one, well, when I came and saw it the two boxes 
there was a left and a right one and I had my eye on the left one but two kids before me bought well the parents bought it for them and then they pull a gold uh, either Palkia or the other one the Alga gold card so I'm thinking oh of course like the one I buy won't have a gold card just because of my luck and like the chances are the two of them having a gold is pretty slim so I, I buy the other one for 105 euro and then only pull a Radiant Charizard and then nothing too crazy then went back and bought like the big uh, Mew promo box that had three packs, opened the three packs on the third, on the last pack Magic, the third pack had a Raikou V Full Art Galarian Gallery so that was the 25 euro card so pretty nice other than that the pulls were meh <laughs> at most I got like a holo I think everything else not hollows the Absol Galarian Gallery that was Alright, so back for round 2, round 3, probably even round 4 or 5 at this point because I went on a big tangent talking about selling Pokemon cards and that'll be a different video just because did a whole 20 minute video it's just talking and then more bonus clips that it should have been for this video will be there so it'll probably go up tomorrow, Thursday since I plan on putting this up Wednesday it would have been earlier but I just was too tired when I came back home on the Saturday then the Sunday didn't want to record it so then Monday what did I do Monday? or no the card show was on Sunday I think yeah so then Tuesday yeah, I recorded it doesn't matter, at least I got in front of the camera eventually because yeah, the the next day I was like ah, I don't want to record, and what, what am I gonna say, what am I gonna look like in, the, in front of the camera just stuff like that, just because it's been like one or two years since the last time I've been in front of ca the camera so yeah, by the time I did a few laps around, it was around lunchtime <laughs> that one of the guys I was asking about, oh yeah, I think it was at the time I was buying the second thing from them, the Japanese uh, seal stuff guys, so I was buying the Mew, big Mew, and he was eating like a big dirty oily burger, uh, it was like a funny meme as well, I was asking him a question and he's just eating their bur burger trying to eat it, and uh, just seeing that oily greasy dirty burger I, I really didn't want to buy uh, go eat that as I think they had like a food truck out back so I could have gotten a drink and of that dirty burger they probably had something else but I don't know I just didn't want to get my hands dirty or like the, the greasy dirtiness so in terms of food I was pretty hungry by the point of I was walking back but I didn't get food until the town that I stopped off at the 40 minutes that I had to wait for the next train so more about that uh, town later I'll just go in order of uh, cons oh chronology <laughs> yeah I have a little board game that's called chronology so whenever I can't think of that word I just look at that board game I'll, one of these times, this being the first time. <laughs> yeah, walking around. At that point, yeah, it was lunchtime. I think it was one o'clock, so I opened up the last few booster packs. I bought two more crowns in it from the guy who won the grading submission from. Then, what? I walked around just to see what else there was left for me to do. There was nothing. I think one of the guys held, was gonna hold a raffle at like 6 p.m. I would definitely wasn't staying that late. So there was nothing much left for me after that, I don't think. So I I think there was an hour before the train. So I went out. And I, I well, going there, I walked past this canal and seen 
I thought oh, it would be nice uh, maybe on the way back if I have time I'll walk along the canal and see what's good there so walking back I literally straight road and get lost you can't go anywhere straight road straight to the train station would have been fine now I had to go right along this like uh, canal path canal walkway it wasn't too long so if I did really get lost I thought I'd go back around because I needed to go left since I went right uh, along there I needed to go left into the train station but the walkway yeah if I did really get lost I could have just went back around and went the straight way that I knew but by that point I thought uh, I didn't have enough time to turn back but I'll go go back so I'll put in a picture of what the walkway is called Sook Valley <laughs> yeah it really did suck but at first when I did took the picture I thought it was funny it was like a funny name for a funny uh, walkway and then well, now when I zoomed in I it noticed uh, for some reason they have the letters BBW <laughs> Big Beautiful Woman Oh wow, Big Beautiful Woman right this way, yeah, let's go but, uh, I didn't notice that when I was there I only noticed it in the picture so glad I'm, I took that picture a good meme uh, so walking around walking forward, there was another um, sign saying Waterfall Island that I got scammed out of a waterfall island it's two separate things first it was like the island in the middle of the canal and then a little further on it's like a small little, little waterfall it's not even that much of a waterfall it's just like water sort of trickling down and I mean yeah waterfall plus island but it's not right to say point in one sign they had different signs so they could have just said oh maybe it's the name of the island they call it waterfall island because they seen waterfall plus island oh what will we name it waterfall island <laughs> simple but uh, walking further along i think i went left because i thought it would walk out into the town no dead end so they were, the only way was to cross a little bridge at the end I think there was a way left earlier but at this point I still had Google Maps so I checked and said oh left would be would be a longer way so I went back around I thought go right around the canal way and then it'd be along the main road for a bit and turn right and then I'd be at the train station sounds simple enough yeah <laughs> phone died so I couldn't even check a google maps it was if I was going the right or wrong way it's so always the phone dies at the time you need it the most like either calling someone or if you get lost and need google maps it's just dead but uh it was at 20% I think 15 maybe when I left the event and then because I was using the maps it just went down and just turned off so you just kept walking walking there was like a small little um, shop that I turned into I thought I thought I would buy food there or what did I think like because I didn't know at the time I didn't know if I was running late or if I would make it to the train station, I didn't know where the train station was. So I was risking it all by going into the shop. And there was nothing really in the shop. There was a sandwich for 450. I wasn't going to pay that much. So then the phone turned back on and I it was like one or two percent. So I could just enough time to for me to check the google maps 
and see which way I needed to go. So didn't get lost because that was a weird uh, sort of a, like a shop because the main part of the town and the shop is like uh, you turn into a road basically there's not even like walkway for pedestrians so I walked along the main road basically for a bit and then you turn into the shop and then there's it's like a cul-de-sac, it's like a dead end I think because it goes into another business park another like a factory or something and then because I thought oh I need to go there and but there was houses blocking the way like I couldn't like I thought I could cross the the car park go into the town that way but there was like houses on houses and there was no like little pathway for me to go through so yeah I had to go all the way around and then it was, I got to the main road it was fine I knew which way more or less which way I needed to go so along the main road yeah for a while it, it took me longer to walk that main road for some reason I think it was like two kilometers in total I, I checked later but uh, along the main road I did see some good uh, sightseeing good some some good memes or good uh, buildings so uh, in the end it was sort of worth it I might return back to that town just for that pub and for the railway museum beside that pub I'll and then there's like a car boot sale thing back at that building the first uh, Saturday of each month and then there's two charity shops as well just because I like antique stuff same with my parents they just like to hunt the stuff down or like cheaper stuff or whatever but yeah the railway museum is closed so you only have to book by appointment just to see the inside and <laughs> attached to that railway museum is a pub with a sign saying world's first uh, or world's only a pub with an actual train inside so I guess they just had a train in the railway museum just attached a pub onto it it's just like a little novelty pub idea so that'd be interesting to see inside of it like I was running I was <laughs> basically speed walking my others oh, yeah speed walking my way down to the, the train station so, going so fast cuz I think uh, oh there was an old lady I think walking like towards me and two guys this way I think so I sort of wanted to overtake them all so I overtake the two lads who were walking pretty slow and then the lady this way so I sort of squeezed in through that it was a sort of a funny snake I could have stopped and waited like that few seconds and it would have been not as rude but like I was rushing I didn't know the time I didn't know if I was gonna be late for my train because well the train was at 2 11 p.m. and like I didn't uh, the next train was only gonna be at 7 so then I'd be stuck there for another five hours. I guess I could have gone back, eaten something, uh, walk along the canal the right way again, <laughs> or went to the pub. But it's not as fun alone. <laughs> alone at the bar, just uh, down in my sorrows. But, um, and then going back to the car, the show, card event again, sitting, waiting there for. That'd be ju just a really boring five hours, I think. And also, I did say that I was gonna return on the earlier one for sure. And then, if my phone that I wouldn't have known where to charge it except the train station. And from now on, ever anywhere I go, I'll just bring a power bank, even if it's a short walk. I just have to find it first. I think I'm not even sure where it is among all those. <laughs> Pokemon cards, but yeah Eventually made it. Oh first yeah along the main road <laughs> K 
kept going straight and then I seen uh, this way it's basically the the town was not becoming a town anymore if you know what I mean it's more like sort of suburban more like houses so I thought surely this isn't the way to this train station because the scene I walked past like this uh, junction where you turn right and that way what did I see down there I think more houses more shops and stuff so I thought maybe this is the way but I went straight ahead just thinking oh maybe it's this way so I had to turn back and go that uh, left way and w kept walking kept walking and then finally <laughs> at a big relief well a slight relief not a big relief but a slight relief just since I didn't know if I was still late or not to the train there's a sign saying a uh, railway crossing 300 meters oh finally <laughs> finally I found the right way then kept walking kept walking 200 meters kept walking 100 meter and then it was sort of like the railway tracks so then I had to walk a little bit more and then it was the petrol station that I crossed and then right into the railway station yeah the train station yeah and I get there there's a few people I'd say a good few people waiting there for the train there's no clocks anywhere <laughs> uh, like a uh, more bigger train stations you see like uh, when the next train is coming or whatever or if it's on time or if it's late or whatever none of that no clocks no nothing i don't know the time so i tried turning the phone on again later but i still had like 10 ish minutes of worrying i also checked the ticket machine but that didn't show the time either <laughs> Also checked the price to the town and it was 18 euro I think. So yeah, it's cheaper to buy the return and the hallway return rather than buy a ticket one place then to the next and then back again. It'll be tr double or even triple your price. But anyway, check the time. It was like 2:02. So I still had 9 minutes before the train arrived. Okay, I checked which platform it should be. Platform 2, I think. So it was the different one that I came on. So I thought surely going home would be the next platform, like the, across from me. But all the people were waiting this side on platform 1. So I thought surely I will need to go from platform 2. Maybe these people are going the other way. <laughs> the train comes and it's the up the other uh, the other platform and it's my train right running back over up around uh, across to the other uh, platform got on the train fine is another weird thing about the trains they have like this little plaque maybe it's on certain um, like carriages like A B C D whatever carriages that they have a little plaque above the seat and it says uh, like the person's name whoever bought it so you can just dox their uh, details and have their name oh how's it going Thomas whatever <laughs> that would be like a weird uh, meme to do on a train then I was went through the whole carriage I think seeing name name reserved reserved from the certain county so I didn't know what that meant I think it said either reserved from Roscommon or reserved at Roscommon but nobody I sat down <laughs> the the old guy across from me uh, like looked up at the names he didn't see his, like he didn't say anything I I was peaceful enough I didn't make any noise it wasn't rowdy wasn't anything I was just there charging my phone but uh, he, he definitely knew I shouldn't be, have been sitting there. But I guess where else do you sit? I really see my first or second time, probably second time on an Irish train, the third time on a train ever, <laughs> I think. Third or fourth, yeah, in my life. 
but uh, that's a story for a different day why I haven't been on the train for, for this long oh yeah maybe there's like one or two carriages at the front or at the back wherever that haven't been reserved that are free to for us to sit down anyway but I'm not sure so charge the phone up to 20 percent I think because I still was using the internet and stuff so but I did try to not to use it as much just so I could charge up more so then an hour and 40 minutes I went off the train at that town there here there's a parch factor I had in a picture of that now again so parch factory that's pretty much the only cool thing in that town they had a little nothing really in that town just a small little village that has more people living in it just so it's called the town so I bought a sandwich in little for two f a little over two year I think yeah 220 so way better than the 450 at the other shop in the small town I have paid 450 before for a sandwich and uh, actually two times before uh, both times being in work without food so I guess either that or starve so I'd rather <laughs> buy like a bad sandwich that's nearly gone out of the night I did check it this time because I know sometimes people are people or the workers overlook the dates best before dates and keep like one or two days out of dates uh, sandwiches up there I've seen that before or the the best before date is today so I bought the one that was for tomorrow it was a B it wasn't a BLT it was bacon stuffing bacon and turkey stuffing something like that then a tomato a weird weird tomato something sandwich and then the third one was weird egg sort of thing they probably have a name for it but I've forgotten by now so that, that, those three sort of sandwiches it's like good value for two euro in a bit <laughs> rather than the 450 out of the other place for the same sort of sandwich might have been even like two sandwiches instead of this tree Oh yeah, sandwich review. Actually started with the worst sandwich and then built my way up. I think yeah, the stuffing one was the best. Because it actually had flavor. <laughs> the second one was the one, the weird tomato one with some sort of sauce. sauce. It's like a Swedish sauce. Not Swedish, but a sweet. Sort of sweet. But it might be Swedish as well because I had a Danish friend that uh, has eaten it, so I'm not, I don't know, it might be Swedish. Sweet, Swedish sauce because that had some flavor as well. And then the third one being the egg one that didn't really have flavor the first one I ate. <laughs> yeah, that I thought, oh, if all of the sandwiches are like this, they're not gonna be that delicious. But I was hungry, so yeah. Then I was eating up on the way back to the train, finished the last sandwich at the train station. What else is there? There was no memes at the train stations, nothing of note. Then it was only like 15 minutes back on the train. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll add in a little uh, video of me on the back. At the back of the train on the train back home. It was like this weird uh, clicking noise. Um, I wasn't sure what it was. Maybe it was like, oh, it could have been like the t in between the two carriages, the actual whatever part just clicking I heard it on the train too as well but I didn't hear it as well since I wasn't at the very back of the train maybe it was at the back of the carriage I not can't remember if it was the very very back of the train oh yeah and going 
going there or is that the wrong way around so it's so for an hour I was facing the wrong way it was making me sort of nauseous maybe that that's how I went by so fast I was trying not to puke but uh, maybe that's how I didn't fall asleep either but that's pretty much it I had a decent time nice fun day out for me all, all alone talked about everything all the memes all everything all the card show oh, oh yeah just remember yeah something that I else want that I wanted to say that I wanted to uh, well if they there is the next year's one I'll definitely be going I'll definitely bring cards that I want to grade because I don't know why the reason was for me not bringing anything now yeah I'll bring cards to grade if I have any by then probably be next year again hopefully they do another one like surely this one was a big success they might like comic cons used to have uh, stuff like that I don't keep up with them anymore and it's not really interesting to me anymore like I would just go to the comic con just for the Pokemon cards now because pretty the last the times that I went I wasn't that into collecting I don't think I even started like 2016 17 I then started later in 2017 maybe 2018 so I wasn't too interested so I'll see, I'll see, and then uh, also thinking about being a vendor, because this time oh, I did have like pretty much two months to prepare, but the vendors maybe booked their spots earlier. I guess I could have still bought before, but being a vendor on your own, like it's not a really good idea. <laughs> Ideally, you'd have at least two people, so. If you need to go to the toilet you have the other person to cover for you or if you go to eat or it's just safer and it's better that way it takes a load off you if people ask you about stuff or whatever but uh, that's just a basic uh, market uh, sell selling and markets Sold at car boot sales two, two or three times before, yeah, made some good money selling all the stuff. Yeah, next year I'll look into being a vendor, because <laughs> they get a, like a certain, uh, a little uh, special card that they may make up for you. But, it, like, I could sell more of my, uh, more of my book, more of my cards have like uh, well, a binder full of cards what else could I oh I could have had the empty cards unit boxes yeah <laughs> so like like at a fiver each just because it's better than selling through the internet since some people might not want to pay a six or seven euro for postage so I yeah, like the six I think went to yes the six extra <laughs> Crown Zena need to be is gonna happen an extra shining face one. Well, it would be two extra shining fates and then an extra uh, champion's pad one as well. Like, I could sell the promo separately and then have the stuff, the, just the stuff. But what else could I have there? I would, I wouldn't be like, like that one guy not trading. I would trade with cards, trade four cards. Actually, yeah, now that I'm more and more thinking about it more and more that I probably should have <laughs> should have thought about selling because I'm, I'm doing that anyway, I'm selling through card market uh, link in the description below but just be better in person, like more people will buy it Oh yeah, the other thing I was thinking about the sealed stuff. Would I have like booster packs? Maybe if I wait, what is the booster box? Like maybe having a booster box, then selling each pack at a certain price, buying like a booster box at one twenty-five, and then there's thirty-six. Uh sort of yeah. If you sell the whole box, then it's sort of worth. So even if you sell at four euro per. Well, a lot of just as an example 
you'd get f around 50, super, 50 cent profit. So I'd say that even sell for five, maybe it's if, if it's a f another set. They were selling, oh well, they were the sleeved packs, so that's a little different. Silver Tempest. So I could have like a one or two booster boxes, maybe. And then open up the stuff that I that I don't sell, yeah. It'll be another sort of different video at the end and I'll actually do vlog from the place with whoever I have uh, as a buddy beside me. With you go stuff as well or I'll bring the match attacks as well. <laughs> have all different sort of cards. But yeah, now I've uh, been talking for a while now again. It probably be a, an hour long video. I'll think about. I'll look at the SP on VMAX Salt again. If I'll send that out to Grade or one of the Charizards, shiny Charizards, I'm not sure yet. Which card I'll decide on sending out and grading. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I was. Dopity, hope you enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed the whole event. Uh, doing this video even brought uh, more confidence in me making more videos like this, more uh, in front of the camera. I also made like the whole Dopey talks about uh, selling Pokemon cards. Uh, that's probably what I'll call it actually. <laughs> if I don't stop the recording now, I'll probably keep on talking about stuff.